to you guys. So I have mom with me. Say hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. No, hi, hi you guys. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> She's following orders quite well. <laughs> Pat her on the head. <laughs> hi, you guys. I hope you guys are doing okay. So New Craft Day asked me if I wanted to review a wind chime for them. You guys may have seen the wind chime. A lot of people have done videos with the wind mm -hmm. chime. Um, I told them. And any of you that watch me for a while knows this is true. I don't like special drill. I don't like off canvas. So I told them that and asked them if, you know, they still wanted to work with me, if there's any way I could pick a diamond painting instead. So I am going to show you guys their ad for the uh, wind catcher anyway. It is pretty if you're interested in that type of thing. I just do not like that type of thing. So I will show it to you guys anyway. They didn't tell me I had to. They just said okay to me picking something else. But they were nice. Let me pick something else. They were nice and understood. I didn't want to do it. So. Sorry about the dogs playing in the background. Um, This is the wind chime that they asked if I wanted to review. And again, they have a few different versions. And they're nice. I just, I'm not into off-canvas things like this. So that's why I decided... I'd ask him if I could show you a, few, a painting instead. So there's like this one, a flower lantern, which is really pretty. Um, nice, pretty flower lantern. And you can see where the two lanterns slide in together to make it kind of 3D. Um, dragonfly, which dragonfly is my uh, sister's favorite animal now, I do believe. So, again, that's kind of cool. And then you got, like, some bumblebees and butterflies and beetles and stuff down here. A uh, hummingbird, which is really pretty. Um, bird cage. So it looks like little finch-type birds. Like, I don't think these are actually any real variety of bird. But they're, like, little finch canary-style birds. Again, I think they're just colorful birds. A uh, butterfly, which is this one, which has like these butterfly flower ones here, butterfly discs here. Nice red butterfly. Like they're they're not bad by any means. If you like these, they are pretty. I think my favorite is probably the hummingbird. I don't know something about the hummingbird just looks nicer to me. I wonder how they connect. Because it doesn't look like it connects the same way the lantern and stuff connects. Because this, like, they connect diagonally for those ones. But the hummingbird doesn't look like it does the same thing. See how right here you can see this is the one piece. This is the other piece. So, yeah. But these are the, the um, wind chimes. I, I don't know why I kept saying wind catcher, sorry. But they are pretty if you're into doing off-canvas things. So there's those ones. And back to the diamond painting with Mom. Thank you, New Craft Day, for the paintings. Thank you for letting me switch out to the paintings. And if, again, if you guys like the idea of the wind catcher... It is a wind catcher, right? Wind chime. Wind chime. If you guys like the idea of that or you like the painting or anything else, check out what they have on their website. The links will be below. So let's see what I got. I only got one painting and I got a pen. I've never tried one of these pens with the plastic heads, but I got this one from mom actually. Although I got purple. There was, it was like purple, blue, green. I got purple. If mom doesn't like it, I'll take it. But that's actually a nice, I like the thickness. That is a nice thickness to that pen. Okay. And I know a lot of people like purple wax. <laughs> so purple wax instead of the pink wax people seem to think that this is better than the pink wax so there's purple wax and then there's purple heads you were talking about multi-placer and if there was a two-placer two -placer. for I you do to ever try want to mine one by one one by one so let's see what we got for heads in here. I don't know if they have a two-placer or just a three-placer. It's hard to find two-placers. Like, you have to buy a huge pen set or something. So we do got this type of single-placer, the bent single-placer, we do got a three-placer, and then the larger ones. 
that's NF straightener. So no, there is not a two placer, but there's the heads you can pick from. You know, that's cool. Straightener. I, I can use that to make sure they stay straight. Yeah, you, you push. <laughs> that's what you do. You push them. I don't, ha I don't have one. I don't use it. Well, yeah, you, you'll take. Hang on. Oh, and it's one of the ones that screw in? Yeah. Yeah, it's a screw in, so they're not going to, um, yeah, cool. There you go. So, yeah, you have the straightener on here, and you can just, you know, put in the middle of your rows like this. That's what I need. My rows are all crooked. Just like always. that. So. But they turn out all right. <laughs> this is a nice pen. I might need to get another one of these. This is nice. That's a nice thickness. I like, mm -hmm. I like the feel of that in your hand. That's nice. Or I order stuff and I never look for these things. I got a huge set, so I got my metal ones. But I only have two two Thank placers, you. so. So we'll see how mom likes that. If mom doesn't like it, then I'll take it and try it out. <laughs> and then I only got one painting with the pen because I got a larger painting. You guys know me and how I like larger paintings, so I had to get a larger painting. It's a 30 by 80. I don't know if you can see that, but it's another gorgeous scenery. Ooh, that's pretty. Birdies. <laughs> it's still going. All those birds. Drill field looks nice from here. Blind lady. Comes pre bagged. And look at those colors. That's bright. Look at that. That is some bright colors. Mm -hmm. We got some bright birds in there. Oh, well, you got your macaw. Mm -hmm. Toucan. There's a little guy down here. I don't know what he is. Cockatoo. Red-headed Amazon, McCall, McCall, and then, oh, oh, you got Sun Conyers here. Yep, I missed the Sun Conyers, a little butterfly there. Here's another Sun Conyer, and then you got a red one here, which looks like it might be a finch. It looks like a straight beak, and I don't know what this, this one here is either with the red chest and the black, and there's also what looks like should be one here, but that kind of... And I don't know what type of bird these two up here are supposed to be either. Hopefully they turn out because, you know, it is only a 30 by 80. So hopefully that's good enough for the details. It looks like most of them should turn out. And either way, it's going to be like a gorgeous scenery. Yeah. But some of them, like these ones, blend in. But maybe in nature, they honestly do blend in too. That's part of their coloration, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think anything's going to look wrong with it. I just don't know if it's one that would be better even bigger but oh could you imagine if you got this even bigger mm -hmm. <laughs> mom's like the drills are heavy at this size but could you imagine getting this even bigger how much bigger it would have to be because this is a 30 by 80 so you know how much bigger you'd have to get because <laughs> if you just went up to 40 you'd now have to make that 80 go up even more and like this is gonna be a large painting if you got it a size larger <laughs> But it has a lot going on in it. So. It looks like it would be really nice though to hang up. You know on a door or on a small wall in between areas or something. It's nice and colorful. It draws your eye to it. And the fact that some of the birds are blending in actually makes you like try to look for them. Like oh what did I miss in this photo? So. Pretty. It has. 24 colors, random letters, and very good looking drill field. Mom's right, you can see all those letters quite nicely, can't you? G's there. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that looks, there's O's there, and the O's are red, the G's are brown. And it says God right there, G-O-D. The D's blue. Right here it says G O D. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, those three do look different. 
I mean, they're still similar-ish, but I can tell that that's brown, that's red, and that's blue. So I don't think I'm going to have too much of an issue working on those. Yeah, again, here's two G's, O's, D's, O's. Like, I don't think I'm going to have any issues with this. So another gorgeous, gorgeous painting. And I've seen this one or something similar to this one and wanted it for a while. So... I am happy with how it looks. Again, like I said, there is, I think this, there might even be a bird hiding here that I can't quite see. Yeah. There's definitely one hiding here. These ones kind of look like they're hiding. There's a butterfly there. Like every time you look at it, there's another bird here. Mm -hmm. There's another bird here. <laughs> yep, every time you look at it, you find another one. Like there's a lot in here. And some of them, like I said, I think the blending in is they're supposed to blend in. Kind of one of those how many birds do you see in this picture kind of thing so again thank you new craft day for these hopefully you guys like this and again very nice pen that that is a nice thickness in my opinion and free bag drills i know we like our free bag drills and a gorgeous painting with an easy to read drill field mm -hmm. so hopefully you guys have a nice day night or morning and we'll have more for you guys. Bye.